Raiding of Pelargir. Welcome to another video here from SDF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking. Oh, wow. And today we have episode number 334 of the Middle Earth Grand Campaign. And we've come to you from Gondor at War. I was about to say War in Gondor. Raiding of Belargir. A scenario which takes place um, sometime during the War of the Ring. Uh, and it's, it's why we have included it at this point. So, um, the Corsair fleet of Dalamir, alongside his Lieutenant Delgamar, has attacked Pelargir and its defenders of uh, a large force of, uh, of clansmen. Yes. The largest force of clansmen we'll see in the campaign, mm -hmm. of 24. Um, alongside Angbor, the fearless, their fearless leader. Uh, so, Pelargir would um, will fall, um, at least in the story. We'll see if we can change the story in some part here. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Delay in everything. And uh, it is a crucial stepstone on the uh, of the Corsair's path to um, uh, to the. Uh, I forget the name of the place where uh, where the. In the book, the cor uh, the uh, the Great Company makes landfall just outside of Minster, but um, <laughs> it's it's not very large. No. Um, I can't remember. But yeah, so the Corsairs stop here to to raid the place, uh, but they are then in the story kicked out by Aragorn and uh, and the Great Company. In the film, however, it's it's bit of a different uh, stretch but as you will see also next week it's a, it's mixed the the participants in the book and the movie are, are a bit mixed for the next scenario so I, I can't can't wait for that one as well um, bit of a cool scenario we have uh, the traditional Corsair we go into plunder and, uh, and burn yep. uh, but it, it seems dousing the flames is a bit harder in this scenario. Um, the the previous scenarios where we've uh, played with the corsairs, the the burning down of the buildings have been easier, maybe, but also dousing the flames has been also easier. Uh, so um, so I'm I need to have three buildings either burned out or burning at the end of turn ten to win. Um, and that can be achieved um, in multiple ways, in close combat or through shooting. Yes. Fortunately, I can try to put out the fires yeah. uh, by being in base contact with a burning building and rolling a six. But, however, if I roll a one, the building is uh, engulfed in flames and cannot be stopped. You, you took a bucket of lighter food instead of a bucket of water yeah. in that instance. Um, so yeah, it's uh, we'll see how this goes. I have the numerical advantage. You have 25 models, I have 38, including 6 Reavers and 6 Arblasters. So. Fortunately, no bows. No. <laughs> I was like, where is the FAQ that says that <laughs> Delcomar is a boson? But it isn't. You have some madmen on your side. Yeah, they they probably will do some damage to my army. Hope so. In first turn. So. I need I need all the help I can get until I can herd them towards the enemy. Point. They like a claymore mine. Point towards enemy. Um, so yeah. Um, hope you enjoy this battle, and uh, we'll be back with the board and the armies. <laughs>
the ring having begun, Sauron has summoned all manner of evil men and creatures to fight in his name and start their assault upon the free peoples. The Corsairs of Umbar did not take much persuasion to join the Dark Lord's ranks. The promise of pillage, plunder and revenge on hated Gondor was enough to seal their loyalty. And now upon their black sailed ships, the Corsairs journey up the coast to Gondor to lay siege to her coastal settlements. The city of Pelargir was perhaps hit harder than any other, for its ports were the key to transporting the Dark Lord's forces up the river Anduin towards Minas Tirith, and the Dark Lord had decreed that the city be taken by any means necessary. Under the cover of night, the Corsair raid upon Pelargir began. Houses went up in flames and those within the city either fled or were slaughtered as the Corsairs tore through the streets. However, this was not to be the simple coastal raid that the Corsairs of Umbar were used to. On the outskirts of the city, the army of Lamadon had made camp upon their journey to the city of Minas Tirith to aid their liege in war. Seeing the Corsairs defile Pelargir, Angbor the Fearless leads his men against southern invaders in an attempt to protect its ports and prevent the Corsairs from reaching Minas Tirith. And so begins the battle. Welcome to Pelargir, a city under siege. Not in the traditional sense with uh, siege towers and ballistae on the outside of high walls, but from the port itself with the pirate fleet of Dalamir, the fleet master of Umbar, and his lieutenant Delgamar leading the fray uh, from the rear. <laughs> um, we have the defenders are mustered with uh, the uh, thief commander it's, it's uh, himself, uh, Angbor the Fearless, leading a total of 24 clansmen of Lamadon. This is the reason why I painted 24 of these guys. So we have them scattered inside the city and on the outside of the gates there are a total of 24 Corsair warriors. Six Corsair Reavers, six Corsair Arblesters, as well as Dalmir and Delgamar. My objective is simple, but probably hard in itself. I am to pillage and burn, well, only burn, um, the pillage comes afterwards. Uh, burn down three of the buildings that Wild controls. We will fight for ten turns, and at the end of the ten turns, um, we will check to see what has happened with the buildings. So, if I wound the building with any of my shots or uh, close combat attacks, it will be, uh, be set ablaze. It's not an attack in close combat, it's ending your movement. Ending in, my movement? In base contact with the building, Ooh. and then rolling a six. So it's set a place. Oh, so I can just chuck my models into the building and then be charged by you. Yes. Wow, nice. So they have a lot of Molotov cocktails, I presume. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's defense eight on the building, so... Most of my models will wound on six by fours. Uh, Arrows six by six, uh, six by fives, and um, crossbows and the heroes will wound on sixes. Um, for strength four crossbows. Yeah, strength four crossbows. Uh, when a building is uh, is set ablaze, then Wild can roll a die if they also move into base contact. Yes. Um, and on a one, it just catches. It's engulfed in flames and uh, is is lost basically. Yep. yep. Uh, on a six, it's it's uh, died down. But, but yeah, you, you've uh, extinguished the flames. <coughs> yep. On a two to five, it still burns. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so yeah, I have a total of 38 models, you have 26. Uh, so yeah, this, uh, this will prove an interesting battle to be sure. So uh, good luck, wow. Good luck in this. We're going to pick now Yeah, five buildings. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Uh, so I will nominate this building. I will nominate this building. Yeah. The uh, the rare most red building here. I will nominate this building. I will nominate this tiny hut. <laughs> One on the far far left there. Yep. From the main stationary camera and yeah, just take that building there. The big stables. So the stables. The two white buildings in the center? No, the these two buildings. Oh, these two in the front? Yeah. Front row? And then two in the rear. Yeah. Smaller buildings in the rear. Seems about good. Uh, you start off with priority, I presume? Yeah. Since, yeah. And, um, and yeah, you don't have any shooting at all as well. Um, uh, no. This, it's, uh, a, it's a slog. Yeah, it's a slog. Ten turns. 10 turns until we check. Let's go. With the almost end of the evil move phase, um, following while moved a um, bunch of models into the shadows of the buildings and the crossbow fire and the bow fire of the, bow, uh, of the Corsairs, at least most of them. You can see some of your models. At least. Ah, oh, they're too far away. Nice. Um, we uh, we only have six models left to move of the Corsairs, which are the Reavers. Now this is the first time I'm using Reavers in the new edition, and um, we went through the uh, the army list for this game, and there are no bosuns, <laughs> which is good, very good. Not for me. No. So which means that all my, my reavers need to take your chests or they will charge their own models. Um, and this is why I win this. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's do this one first. He makes his courage chest. They have a courage of four. So uh, just move him as far forward as possible. Uh, we can all agree that this Arblaster is the closest now. Uh, but it's also fine. Next up is this reaver. Uh, fails and charges the other Corsair reaver. <laughs> so they are now locked in deadly combat. And he now gets plus 1 to any two wound rolls. Yes, this one. Because <laughs> it's driven into a bloodthirsty rampage. Yes. Then the uh, the one on top of the crate, which is not really on top of the crate, but Wild wanted to place it there. So um, he makes his curve chest, moving it six inches forward to hereabouts. And then the last one fails! Uh, is the archers the closest ones? Yes. Yeah, so move it into archer. And that will also get plus one. Ah! Combat. <laughs> no, no shooting, no. Shooting, shooting. I want to shoot first. Yeah. So we can start off with um, yeah, with the archers. Because I can't really see any of your models. Uh, you have hidden them very well. But I do not take tests for interweening models, as the uh, scenario special rule says. On buildings. On the buildings when I, I shoot a building. So all of these four will shoot at this building because they can't reach anything else. So I, of course, can burn down other buildings, but only my nominated ones count. Yep. So, uh, fives to hit. Uh, sixes by fives. Oh, double six. No! And then... We measured and these were out of range, those two, so we'll just shoot at the same building. Uh, one hits. 
That's a wound. So that is blaze. Um, do I do? I I can't do multiple counters, no. right? No. Um, I, I don't think so. No. Um, and then we'll do my archer bunch on the stables. Uh, one hits, no wound. And then we'll do my crossbows on the nearest building. Um, that's three hits, no six. And that was my shooting. Then we can do close combat. So we've got two. We can take the Reaver versus Reaver fight first. So I. I'm going to do be the defender, so the guy who was charged. Uh, we got two attacks each. I'll set the bar at a six. Uh, you fail to win the combat. I will try to wound you. I need four plus. I kill you. Yep. So the maddened reaver is dead, and that's the first casualty of the game. Going to evil. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good. Second reaver fight is against an archer. Uh, you have a higher fight. You no, we have an e equal fight. E equal fight. Yeah. You have the one attack. Two attacks. Do you have two attacks with a archer? No. Oh, I'm playing the archer. Yes. Yeah, um. Well, you it's don't a have one. to. It's. Uh, you win. And that plus one to wounds. If that's a dead archer. That's a dead archer. Uh, I shot with one too many dice on the, the yeah, stables. But it didn't take five. It didn't. didn't, but didn't light For the people screaming in the comment section. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I forgot, but I... Very little screaming in the comment section. <laughs> priority. Let's do priority. I uh, get a six. It goes to me. Goes to you. Yeah. Turn two out of ten. <coughs> so let's come back for the reverse, I think. But then no, but then you'll take out all my um I'll take out all my uh my archers if I don't do the reverse first. I'll do the reverse first. So this reaver Makes its courage chest. Doesn't matter if I burn down that building. Uh, it matters if I burn this one down. Next river fails its courage chest and charges this guy. <laughs> Damn it. Um, this river makes its courage chest. go. Uh, that river, yeah, makes its care chest, races up towards the center building there, yeah. Not the stables? Not the stables. And the last river uh, makes its care chest and moves up through the gap. There we go. And that's all the reavers. I'll do my movement and then uh, we'll come back before shooting if Wild tries to douse the big building in uh, in water. So the guy <clears throat> on the middle of this building will try to douse it and turn out the flames with a 4 plus ending his movement and failing and then the other guy will try to do the same with a 1 and the building is lost. Oh! So it's a guarantee. So that building is now really really on fire. So that's one building out of the three I need to burn down. You got two more guys behind the other building. Oh yeah. Uh, but it's not on fire. It's not on fire, so, so it's you can toss some preemptive water on it yeah, so just to made, making it a seven plus for you. <laughs> Six is by four, Jimmy. It's possible. Um <clears throat> okay, so 
we got some shooting, so this building is now not really interesting to shoot at. Um, you don't have range to charge here, but these guys might charge. So I got some shots with my bows on these guys. Um, one of them has in the ways, one of them does not. So we'll do one shot from an archer onto the guy with no in the way. Fails to hit the other guy. Fails it as well. Um, continue firing on that one with no in the ways. <coughs> hits. No wound. And last one. Mm, fails to hit. Got my crossbows here. Uh, we'll fire up the building that hasn't been burned burned down. So shooting. Two hits. Needing straight sixes. Uh, fails. And then we got the three crossbows there. Can they see any? Uh, yeah. yeah, they can see a bunch of them. So we'll just take three shots on three, um, three clansmen. Two hits, four plus two wound, one dead. And then I'll do... <laughs> it's tempting to... <laughs> Tempting to shoot at the building and not the uh, clansmen coming from the uh, behind the building there. Makes sense. But that's where uh, Angbor is. No, so he's oh, in the middle. he's in the middle. Okay, but I'll, I'll shoot at the clansmen. So from the main camera's perspective, there are um, there are some clansmen Six behind clansmen the building. Up here. So I'll shoot at three of them with my three archers. I hit with one of the archers because I moved. Uh, that's a wound. I got throwing daggers, but that doesn't have range. So, um, so yeah, that's my move, shoot, and uh, there is one combat in this turn as well. Which is a reaver versus a normal... I'm the reaver? Buckler, yeah, you're you're always the attacking reaver. Oh, I rolled a one. I could have shielded! I forgot to shield. Um, he is dead. So, so far the reavers have killed three of their own models. Yep. Infinite more than you have uh, killed of me. Priority turn three. Yes, sir. Goes to me. Yes, it does. You didn't want that priority. No, no, I wanted the reavers to. Uh... <laughs> oh. A walk. Do you want to declare anything before you move? Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we'll come back after you move. Right. So during Wiles move phase, we. Um, we have um, a bit of a stalemate going on where Wild didn't want to move into my range and because uh, that meant the Reavers could just go banana straight forward um, and uh, he also didn't want to provide any beneficial charges for me so I've moved up um, most of the models I can before I roll for my Reavers which I will do now so I'll roll for this Reaver first is outside six inches of everything of yours so it might only be mine uh, but he makes his curse chest so I'll actually just toss him straight into just outside one inch of you there next river is this one <laughs> it doesn't bode well with one so it's a fail uh, closest model would be this one. It charges in here. Why didn't you bring a boson? Why didn't the scenario provide me with a boson? Because of this reason, I think. <laughs> uh, the reaver nearest the well. Uh, I will delay because my Dalgamar is the closest one. So we'll do the reaver here instead. Uh, makes its curse chest and will move straight up. 
Towards these guys? Yep. Um, the reaver... The next reaver as well. Also makes it. Just chuck him six inches towards that bunch. And then we'll pile this model into the building. Model six? Uh, defense eight, so it would need. No, no, you, it's a. Uh, in close combat. Close combat. At the end of your move, it's a dice roll. End of that model's move? Yes. Yeah. So I've finished movement model, and it's all three. Yeah. <clears throat> so the guy next to him. Also puts in a flaming brand. Nope. And. This guy as well. Yeah! It's on fire. It's on fire, which means. Um, Delgamar is free to move up here. And this guy moves up there. And then those guys move the first guy into contact with the building on the corner next to the river there. An inch away from uh, this guy? Nope. Uh, next guy, can he reach? Yep. Yeah. Nope. How about the. Uh, we have one more that can fit. One more. Okay. <clears throat> yeah! Burning down the house. And then the spare support will just go straight up towards the river. Can spare support the river. Yeah, and then last model to do something with is this river, which will do courage test, which is promptly fails. And the closest model is now outside of six inches. Mm. So I'll go towards the closest enemy, which are these guys. There we go. Not too shabby. So, um, you've already moved, so you can't do anything towards those buildings. Nope. So we go into shooting. I should have... Three shots into these guys. Yeah, we can start over there. So we got my archers firing at still the six clansmen behind the uh, the stables. Over there, we moved, so we hit with one, no wound. We do have three crossbows. So one unobstructed there, one un unobstructed there. So. This guy has an unobstructed shot on the right hand side of the river. Miss. The this guy has an unobstructed on the left hand side of the river. Stable? No. Um on the left hand side of the river. Oh the river, yeah. Oh that guy. Yeah. Mm. Uh, miss. And the middle guy has an unobstructed shot on the guy in front of the stables. Hits. Kills. These three guys will shoot at, so one shoots at this guy. Get into focus. So my crossbows will shoot at, so one of them shoots at this guy. Hits. Nope. Uh, one shoots at this guy. Miss. And the middle one shoots at... In the way on the guy in front there. Miss. And then I one shot this guy. This guy here shoots at the unobstructed shot onto that guy. No. Okay. So that was all my shooting into close combat. Yes. So we've got two close combats down here. First one is two. Corsairs versus one clansman. We got equal fight, and you got minus one on your die, and, and uh, if you don't roll a six, you win. I do. Uh, strength three, defense four, fives, kills. 
They are a bit squishy, the clouds, but... Uh, a bit. But now on to even more squishier targets. We got a Reaver, which you control, against a Bowman I control. So Bowman rolls one. The Reaver. Uh, double six to win. Kills on a three plus. That's four models the Reavers have killed so far. Yeah. How many have I killed of you? Four. Four, so. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Same number. Um, you have 38 against my 25, so yeah, the odds are not in my favor. But that was also all of the close commands for this turn. Yeah, so let's go to turn four. Turn four priority goes to me. This time we didn't want to, uh, to have me have priority. Uh, any heroics? No. No? So I will uh, we'll come back. So with fourth turn nearly being done, we uh, we had a miracle of a, uh, a move phase where none of the Reavers failed. Um, it was a bit intricate moving because of throwing axes and other stuff and I uh, purposely failed my my Corsair uh, Reaver roll um, with three of the Reavers who are now in combat with Wild Troops. Um, yeah, both my heroes are now in combat, which is also cool. My heroes is in combat as well. Mm. I've ended one move next to the stables. Yeah. And I'll try to douse the flame on a six plus. No. And one on this building. Six plus. No. no. So still on fire. Yeah. Uh, cool. So we now have shooting. Which is... Probably nothing. Not a lot of shots. Uh, I should have moved forwards with my crossbows. I think could however I have three crossbows that could shoot into combat with your uh, with your guys yeah. with your guys there uh, it's still equal of a chance to hit my own guy but I could actually shoot all my shots into that so we'll do that because why not three no. crossbows well we'll do one shot with an archer first it missed then we'll do one shot with a crossbow it missed. One more shot with a crossbow. That also missed. And the third shot hits. The reason I did once at a time is that if I killed my model on the first shot, <laughs> I could just kill. Shoot at you guys. I hit you, yeah. which is good. And a four plus to wound. No. Um, we have a similar situation where I can shoot into the Reaver fight over there. I mean, my reavers are good, but they're a bit of hindrance <laughs> in some some ways. Um, so we'll do the same there. We'll shoot one crossbow, but missed. One more miss, and third hits. It hits you and kills. No, it doesn't kill. So that was my shooting. I have no shots. Combat. Yes. Start off down here. The fight face, rather. Yes. You got one guy against my two archers. Uh, Drone drawn combat <laughs> is my priority. Goes to you. So you need a more than one, but not too far off. <laughs> Damn it. Then we got the mighty reaver. Against the five yeah. clansmen. It's against five clansmen. So a reaver sets the bar at a four heist. You win on you draw. <laughs> it goes to you. He's trapped. 
is very tough. Ten strikes needing first two strikes. Uh, needing four plus three pluses. It's dead. Yeah, that's a dead river. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's my glass cannon score. Um, all right, uh, we can do because I don't want to move the camera too much. We'll do. We got some fights over here. Over here. Yeah. So there's. This guy's in base contact with three, but this guy can also fight him. Two on him. Yeah, I, I want Reaver in as many guys as possible. Three against the Reaver. Yeah, three against the Reaver. Let's do him first. Level six. I need a six. You didn't get it. Uh, Reaver's got a strength of three, so but has a plus one now, so it needs four pluses. So it takes out one. Then we got the guy with the buckler. Against a single clansman. You win. Drone fights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Goes to me. Fails. Two wounds. And then there's. Two Corsairs versus one uh, clansman. It's you. And uh, needs a five. Kills him. There we go. Harsh. Next up, we have the fight on the corner, which is two, well, one, one with spare, one with buckler fighting against a single clansman. This one? Yeah. yeah. I set the bar out to four. Hey! You win. And you kill. And then we have some fights behind here. Um, Two against uh, Dalamir? Yeah. Dalamir has three attacks, fight five, so you can set the bar. Two highest. So Dalamir will say three. Uh, what is. Does Angmore have any more special rules otherwise, other than that they're fearless? No? Uh, no. Um, so needing force to wound, and they re-roll to wound. So first one, re-roll. Second one, Oh, I do get a bad re-roll. But... And third one, kills. I get a banner from being... Uh... Oh yeah. I think it's within six. So. I had a banner re-roll, but... Now you have Angbor and friend versus two clan, um, Corsairs. I roll a six. I roll a six. He roll a six. Uh, that should be Angbor. Yeah, so he he's has, only got two attacks. Uh, but he has a friend. Oh, he has a friend. Yeah. But I win. Yeah, you do. So you can kill one of them. Uh, needs a, Angbor needs three, the other guys needs fours. Alright, so we have two fights over here. I need to adjust the camera a bit. <clears throat> Alright, so we have two last two fights behind the building there. We have the Reaver, which chose to fail. I win. win. And it kills because of the plus one. And then we have Delgamar with a friend. So you have the lower fight, so you can set the bar. I one. won. You win. I win, so I don't have to use Delgamar's special rule. Um, Delgamar needs fours to wound, the other guy needs fives. That's dead. Clansmen. So that's nine. nine clansmen so far. You've killed, well, there are seven casualties on the evil side. Uh, how many of them you actually killed, we don't know. Two, three. <laughs> so, 
um, at the end of the fourth turn there is one building that has burned down and there's two buildings that are currently ablaze. Going to turn five, priority. Goes to you. Yeah. Can I declare anything? That's all. That is only might. No, he's got two might, Dalmir. Um. Dalgomar has three. Yeah, I can do heroic with uh, Dalmir. Do you want to answer with Angor? Mm -hmm. Yes, I kind of. Angor gets everyone. Yeah, I probably should. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, you got. Priority, so see who gets it. Goes to me. Of course. So after five turns, we have now come to the end of the fifth turn movement. Um, my heroic move ended up with me dragging all my warriors around this building. Uh, catching one of them with a... Uh, one of the uh, clansmen over here with a... Uh, throwing dagger to the throat while the rest of the Corsairs there just swarmed the remaining guy. Um, Angbor followed suit and dragged with him. Well, he didn't call with me, but he dragged with him most of these guys. So there are now three clansmen and Angbor in combat with a single Reaver over there. Um, that Reaver chose to fail, so he. Uh, he will gain plus one to wound if he wins that combat. Uh, the rest of my reavers managed to uh, to succeed in their uh, their uh, curse chests, so there are no reavers charging their own models uh, this turn. You have one um, attempt to douse the flames yep. on the stables, which fails. So it's still a place. Still a smattering of flames around the uh, piece of curtain or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I have moved all my models. Uh, all my models that can shoot are either in combat or they have moved full and have crossbows. So uh, there are no shots from me this turn. So we go straight into combats. So we can start off with the. Uh, least interesting combat in my opinion which <coughs> is uh, combat with uh, Angbor, you know? oh yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> so we go straight into the most interesting fight which is Angbor and three clansmen versus a single reaver the reaver will set the bar at a four highest uh, I get a four highest yeah but you have a higher fight because of Angbor's yes. fight five is that correct yeah yeah so uh, you win Trapped. He is trapped. So Angbor first. Yeah. So, oh, um, let's see now. So you get plus one to wound. So you normally win on four. So that would be wounds on threes. Okay. Yeah. So that's another reaver biting dust. So there's three reavers remaining on the table. But there's at least more of your guys following suit. We can continue on with the uh, the fights in here. So my three guys against your one. Yeah, why not? So I have a single guy setting the bar on a one. I can beat that. Just. <laughs> Yep, he's dropped. Uh, defense three, so you need threes. 
just <laughs> just just four ones. That's a good roll. Angbor versus one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I automatically lose. Yes. Uh, again, threes. No, double one. Mm. All right. <clears throat> So we have this fight over here, if I can actually get to it. Yeah, there we go. I win, needing fives. No. And then there's a big fight over there. So over there we have three combats. Yeah. Which one do you want to do first? The one where I'm not trapped. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's two Corsairs. Yes. We win that one and we kill. Next up. This guy against a Corsair and two Archers. A uh, Reaver and two Reaver. Archers, yeah. yeah They're all cor Corsairs. You we win. win. Um, so you charge my Reaver. So it's all fives. It's dead. And then last fight mm. is one. Two bucklers and an archer. Archer. So I get a six. You get, have to get a six to win. No. Doubling up my strikes. Needing fives. Go. Kills him. Yeah. This so we've is... cleared out the. Uh, the. Um, Clansman on that portion of the board, except one which is hiding behind the stables, I think. That is correct. Yeah. He is he's the him. firefighter in the group. Not the fire starter. Nope. Twisted fire starter. <laughs> I don't like that reference. You don't like Prodigy? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Right, so priority turn six goes to Wild. Mm. And no, no, I don't want to use my last. Oh, we forgot a fight. Oh yes, we did. We did. We forgot a fight with um, four corsairs versus one uh, clansman. Um. Still to roll a single six, but I, I rolled one. two sixes. Oh, you rolled one. Oh, ban reroll from. Uh, oh yeah, that's even worse. That's needing a single five. Uh, we get him just. That's one five. So I don't think there's. How many is that now? Uh, 14. So you have 10 Clansmen. Clansmen plus Angbor left on the table. I've lost so far 8 <laughs> models. <laughs> oh. Alright, uh, priority went to you. I'm not calling anything. So uh, let's come back after we've moved. Turn 7 movement has concluded and it is a slog in the middle with uh, Dalamir versus Angbor and the whole mess of Corsairs versus the remaining uh, clansmen in combat over there. Uh, on the other side of the stables we have the last remaining clansmen over there now being approached from either side. He tried to douse the flames but alas it did not go his way. Um, we have the six crossbows which now have perfect fire lines against the four clansmen reinforcements coming in there and um, and uh, the uh, the two archers on the far side of the stables can shoot at the uh, small building in the corner so we'll which do ones? this guy and that guy yeah it takes no yeah. in the ways for uh, for moles. The building though. <laughs> oh. Uh, one hits. Six by. 
Thanks, it's on fire! There's only one building remaining to, uh, to be set on fire now. Uh, these poor four guys over here uh, are now beset by the total of six crossbows, which <laughs> have a, a nice shooting gallery on them. So we'll see if we can take out all, all four. Four plus to hit. It is a potential uh, killing on all four. No, only one. I mean, just delaying the inevitable, I think. Mm. Um. We got one shot on the uh, building with my archer over there. Hits. And that is my shooting. Well, oh, uh, Delgamar tosses a throwing dagger on the uh, on the clansman. Hits. No. That it's was my. Uh, that was my shooting. Do you want to declare anything? No, I have no might. Okay. So. You have no might, that's true. Hmm. I could do her strike. But I... No. no. Um, so we can start off with uh, the fight with the two... Two archers versus this clansman over here. Oof, not a six. And he is taken out. That's 16. That is 16, yeah. Eight remaining plus Angbor. Yeah. So over here we have. So you, you decide which fights to do first. Two Corsairs against a Clansman. Uh, Clansman? Yeah. I have a banner reroll from Delcamar. No, from, uh, not from Delcamar, but Angbor. Yeah. Uh, hey! You win it. Do I win or is it a draw? No, it's a draw. Sorry. Um, I lose it. Uh, you're not trapped there. So, only two strikes and he's not dead. Actually, he's... Is he trapped? No, it's... No, um, is that an inch? Let's say it's an inch. Yeah. Then we've got this guy with a spear support against this guy. Yeah. Hey. Ooh! Drawn combat two. again. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, kills him, sadly. Yeah. And then this guy against him. Yeah. I will strike normally. I have a banner reroll. Do. Doesn't kill. Okay. Then do we have that on? Do we have it on camera? It's there, but it's not in focus. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Dalamir has a. Support. Yep. So setting the bar at the six. You win. I also have a support, don't I? Yes, you do. Yeah. Uh, you have a support. I don't. Oh, I can't support with broadswords. You can't. Sorry, I and mean, you don't have the yeah, spears. So, anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, needs fives all across the board. Rerolling from Dalmer. That's and a might. That's I can I can roll my fate first. Yeah. Makes yeah. it. So and a point of might is dead. Yeah. So Dalmir is out of might. But Angbor has been taken out. Nice. Uh, that's your words. And that's all the combats for this turn. We'll do priority turn seven.
goes to you. So, I'm tempted to just call with one of uh, Delgamar's uh, point smite to stop you from dousing the flames before I charge him. So I'm going to do that. So I'll charge with Delgamar, throwing my dagger on the way. Not calling with me, I fail to hit, so I charge him. Who? Delgamar charges the uh, clansman. Okay. Somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Then you can move. So you don't want me to douse this building? No. Okay. <laughs> I really, really don't. With Angbor being felled by Dalamir, the fleet master of Umbar himself, the desperate defenders now need to really pick up their pace to do any damage to the Corsair Horde. Um, Dal uh, Delgamar charged in on the remaining um, remaining clansmen behind the stables to try to uh, make him not roll to douse the flames. Um, we have some reavers, um, one choosing to fail against the guy behind the stables, the other two making their tests and, uh, and just moving towards the enemies. We have one Corsair who will now try to douse um, the building in uh, cooking Flame. oil yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and set it ablaze. Let's see. Nope. And then we have three crossbow shots at the same building. Two hits. And a six. So that is the final building uh, set ablaze. Um, all right, combat. Uh, yeah. Do we start behind here? Yeah, we can start behind the stable. Delgamar. And a reaver. And, and a reaver. And, and a friend. And the spare support on the reaver. Yep. Yeah. Hey! But I sadly have the higher fight in the combat. And I rolled the sixes I need. Uh, Reaver will have the honor trying to take him out. Is he trapped? Yeah. It's flat. That is a dead landsman. Um, in the middle of the board, we have Dalmir. I presume. Since I can move him. Sorry? Dalmir. Yeah. He's in combat? Yes. Uh, with the spare support. Cool. Oh, Now you're all the sixes you need. Yep. So, um, you wound Dalmir on a 4 plus. No. Don't you have some smoke bomb shenanigan? If I charge you, oh. I could have done it. One on one? Yep. You, it's a drone combat. Goes to you. Fails to end. Um, one, one. Yeah. I win. Uh, you don't have a reroll anymore, sadly, and I kill. And then two from you against one of mine. Mm -hmm. Set the bar at a double one. You win, but no kill. And then lastly, one on one. One on one. It's one again. You win. And in the tray, it's a kill. There we go. Turn eight. Party goes to me. Yes. yes. <coughs> so Reaver chooses to fail. Um, that 
that's it, I think. I have to roll for some reavers, though. Um, the reaver next to the stables makes it. The other reaver makes it as well. So I'll do my move. Yeah, the reaver over here. So. Yeah, and I don't think. Well, you have one model you can move. Um, <laughs> after after I've moved. Okay, oh, five remaining models. Turn eight, movement is done, and the last <laughs> beleaguered defenders fight to their last to defend their city, but it might come to last. Um, Dalmir tossed a smoke bomb, uh, so he's paralyzed as well, so that means Dalmir will automatically win that fight. Uh, but before that happens, uh, you try to... You have priority? Yes. yes. So um, so the guy in contact with the building cannot try to re... Correct. ...light it. So, A6 now? No. That's a 1, so it's gone. The that building is... Uh, building is gone. So I need to douse two of these guys. All three? No, no. Yes. All three you need to douse before... Okay, that's game. <laughs> in two turns. Okay, combat. Yeah. So Dalamir automatically wins the combat, needing four plus to wound with a friend, I think. Mm -hmm. Or do I have a friend? Yes, you have a spare support. Cool. Uh, no. Uh, I luckily reroll. Yeah, there we go. Reaver against the dude? Yeah, Reaver um, failed his test, so he gets plus one to wound if he wins. He does win, and kills him. Then we have two on one here. No, two on one on the other because he's trapped. Uh, I win. It's dead. Kills him. Mm. There's two clansmen left on the board. I can kill one more. Let's see. You win that one. But you don't kill. Yes, you do. I do. You do. Alright. So there's two models left. We're going to turn mine. I, there's, there's no... No way for me to win this. No. It's too far. It's too far. Um, let's go charge him. I, I burned down both buildings. I tried to stop. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I had to roll a die for the smoke bomb to see if they... They are no longer any smoke bombs. I only brought oh. the one. So he charges in there with his friend. The reaver fails to try... Uh, fails voluntarily. And then we got one and these two as well. There we go. Moving everyone closer. Yeah, I think uh, I think I don't need to move the rest there. I think that's well. I I want Delgamar within three inches. And you want to kill all your dudes? And I want to roll for the reaver. It succeeds. And this reaver? Yeah. It succeeds as well. There we go. Alright. Um, we have this fight. One on one. You win. I do. And kills! That is definitely game. I think this game will not last 10 turns, it will only last 9. Uh, so, I will set the... I will set the You bar. will set the bar, since I have the hard fight. You set the bar on the 1. A zero. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dalamir wins the fight, doubles up his attacks, needing 4 plus re-rolling everything. He is... Absolutely butchered, and that is the final defender model. 
And, thanks uh, for the game. Thanks for the game. So, that's a victory for evil. And let's see uh, what thoughts we have on this scenario when we come back in the post-battle battery breakdown. Welcome back to the post-battle battery breakdown and it's a victory for evil. Uh, sadly, the, <laughs> one of the first rolls for dousing the flames set a dangerous precedent for the rest of the game. Um, I do think this is a hard battle for the good side to win. Um, even though there are 10 buildings but only 5 of them are actual targets, yeah. the amount of fire through, through actual bow fire and crossbow fire and, and manpower the, uh, the Corsairs can wield, and as such you also have to cover a broad I could have actually gone broader with the the models you had to protect, mm. uh, which meant your force would be even more spread. But but yeah, it's it's very difficult when you can set buildings ablaze from afar, and you have to have models protecting them. So you can't you can't actually just defend, because I think if you like defended a a a. Uh, stretch between two buildings and then you sent the force around to, to attack from the other side I think you could have had like very very advantageous fights but then again if <laughs> if the bur buildings around are burning then you have to do other stuff yeah. So, so yeah and then I would present a lot of meaty targets for mm. archers as well indeed crossbows just eats quite well yeah defense 4 isn't the best it's, it's really hard, but it's an interesting. I think it's an interesting puzzle. Yeah, I definitely. mean, I think it's very, 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 very hard. Uh, one out of a ten games, I think you can make out to victory. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the fun part. Or of, be a uh, better player than I am. I mean, <laughs> That's the fun part playing this in these scenarios is that you can set up the game and then you can have like multiple playthroughs. You can switch sides. You can do do stuff we we don't do on camera uh, until we play them all. Then we'll switch sides. But um, but yeah, and and this actually looking at the map, this this board is looks to be tailor made for the new uh, new terrain. Yeah, it has two. Two of the, the watchtowers and a bunch of buildings, you just have to resist the urge to ruin them because um, these buildings are supposed to be whole. Uh, which is, we haven't built our, our Gondor uh, buildings yet. But, uh, um, but I mean, we, at this point, why did we filming this? Because there's still some yeah, th this time is, before release. <laughs> a bit of a continuity error. We, we're filming this scenario 10 months before its release. <laughs> I think that's the the widest margin yeah. um, we have ever and will ever have uh, in the campaign. So, um, but logistics may made it so that we, we had to try uh, filming this one. Uh, but we will not leave Pelar Gear uh, yet because next week we will have the rematch. <laughs> uh, it is the. Uh, not here, it's battle for Pelagir. So, Pelagir has fallen, the Corsairs have, uh, have uh, regrouped, a bit, regrouped a bit and are in the midst of looting and pillaging the place when not only, well, from the, from the, uh, from the west, Aragorn, Gimli, Legolas, Halbarad, Eladan and Elrohir as well as uh, Angbor and 12 clansmen of Lamadon are charging in and from the east ghostly shapes arrive. The, uh, the oath breakers of Eric has, uh, has formed under the, the king of the west and will try to <laughs> be the anvil mm. where the hammer will strike. So this I I can't wait for next week because this is uh, is a brutal battle 
for the Corsairs. I think the tables will very much be turned in this one. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, this this will be cool. Um, I I think uh, I think we'll have fun in the, that one as well. Uh, I have lots of heroes. You have more, <laughs> and they're all named, except the uh, except the heralds of the dead. So, uh, so yeah, I um, hope you enjoy uh, this week's battle report and you'll join us for next week's. Until then, my name has been Andreas Norwegian Viking. I'm Wow. And this was episode number 334 of the Middle Earth Grand Campaign. Please comment, like, share and subscribe. And please consider supporting us on Patreon using the links in the description below. It's a great way for you to support what we do here at the studio and it means a lot to us. So thank you very, very much to our past, present and future patrons. And as always, support your hobby. <laughs>